Tell me he doesn't look like he could beat me up for my lunch money at any moment. And I'm a 30 year old man. If I saw him walking down the street, I'd cross over to the other side. Carlos Augusto de Aswan Chao Pitanga Neto. I'm sure I butchered that. Or as he is known on social media as Cacocinho Neto. I also butchered that. He's a 12 year old Brazilian kid who is becoming quite the social media sensation for being absolutely jacked to the gills, shredded to the teeth, built like a tiny brick shithouse. Because if I've learned anything from 17 Fast and Furious movies, it is that. He's both just a second away from stealing my girlfriend and herniating his L4 and L5. Not only does he do CrossFit, but his proud father boasts about how he does more than 700 sit-ups, deadlifts almost 100 kilos and runs 5k each and every day. Yes, this kid works out harder than most of you. Harder than I do and this is my job. So what's your excuse, huh? What, you have responsibilities like a job and a family? Ooh. Even when he was 8 years old, he ran a 10k according to his dad. And we know fathers are the most reliable source when it comes to the accomplishments of their children. I'm just kidding, he looks like he'd run 10k on his hands. Oh wait! He has teams of trainers, nutritionists and sponsors shooting advertisements with him on a daily basis. With a quarter of a million subscribers, he is an attractive prospect for all kinds of industries who want to capitalize on his unusual success. And his father, who accompanies his journey, is all for it. Make it rain money and clout. Now while we have seen time and time again how parents shove their children into the life of an influencer or actor and they end up in a pretty bad spot mentally, by the time they are old enough to form their own opinion, from the footage I have seen I don't doubt that this kid enjoys what he's doing. And while I assume there is more than a slight nudge coming from his dad because I always assume the worst and because these are the times we live in, I wanted to go through the health benefits of starting out with a strength and conditioning routine this early, as well as tackle some of the problems he might have to deal with because of his young age, get ready to see some insane training footage overlap with my calm soothing voice explaining bone density in adolescence to you. Strength and conditioning workout programs can be beneficial for children and adolescents when they are designed and supervised appropriately. Strength and conditioning exercises can help increase muscle strength, which can be beneficial for sports performance and daily activities if he does soccer or whatever he does. Strength and conditioning exercises can also help improve bone density, which can help reduce the risk of osteoporosis later in life. Especially for people who don't do any sports at all, the risk is a lot higher than people who do stuff like yoga or cross training. Strength and conditioning exercises can also help increase muscle mass and decrease body fat, which can lead to a healthier body composition position as well as a healthier cardiovascular system. Also, these exercises can help improve sports performance by increasing muscle, strength, power and endurance. Strength conditioning exercises help improve self-esteem by giving children a sense of accomplishment and confidence in their physical ability, which makes sense. He looks like he does accomplish a lot and I'm pretty sure he feels it. Look at that face. Strength and conditioning exercise can help reduce the risk of injury by improving strength, flexibility and coordination. We know, know that people who lead a sedentary lifestyle have a higher risk of injury than people who do sports and that goes the same for kids and adolescents. It is important to note that children should always be supervised though by a qualified coach or trainer, which he absolutely is, as far as I know, a team of trainers and nutritionists. The training program should be designed to be age appropriate with an emphasis on proper technique and safety. Children should also be encouraged to participate in a variety of physical activities, including aerobic exercises and sports to promote overall health and fitness and not just be locked in in something like CrossFit. There are also some potential risks though, like CrossFit and involves high intensity exercises that require proper technique and form to be performed safely. Children who are not properly trained or supervised may be at risk of injury, especially if they are using weights that are too heavy for their age and developmental stage. This kid is deadlifting 100 kilos. Children who engage in intense physical activity on a regular basis without adequate rest and recovery time may be at risk for overtraining, which can lead to physical and psychological burnout, decreased performance and increased risk of injury again. Not to mention a risk of delayed puberty and other developmental issues if they are not provided with appropriate nutrition and rest to support their growth and development, which I'm sure this kid is. 
again, I'm not criticizing him, I'm talking about in general. CrossFit is a highly competitive and demanding workout program that may be put pressure on children to perform at a high level, which can lead to social pressure and anxiety. So if this kid is performing like I think he is, and if he's taking part in CrossFit trials or whatever it is called, as we can see he actually does, then we have to make sure that he is not being over pressured with having to win all the time. The workouts are also designed to be constantly varied but they may not provide enough variability in movement or training modalities to promote overall physical development which is why we said that he needs to do other stuff too except for just do some weight and conditioning training or strength and conditioning training it is important to note that the risks associated with crossfit can be minimized with proper training supervision which he has by qualified coaches which he has or trainers who understand the unique needs of children and adolescents which i don't know if he has Parents and coaches should encourage children to participate in a variety of physical activities, including aerobic exercises and sports to promote overall health and fitness, which we can see he actually does. So again, this is not directed at him, but all in all, it looks like he's doing pretty great. I don't think that he is being pushed into something that he doesn't want to, but people still need to be very, very careful when it comes to children because he might not even be able to tell you that he doesn't want to do it and we don't know how his familial relationships are, so we don't know if he even has the chance to back out if he wanted to. So I hope you guys keep this in mind and more power to him and his father. I hope they do well and I hope he doesn't turn out to take any forms of enhancers or whatever, especially in his adolescence. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see y'all very soon. Captain Cairo, peace out.